The Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Puck picked up by Felino. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Here he is with the backhander. Gives them nothing in front. And he came out and challenged them. Good save. The Rangers will play it in their own end. Toronto's got it in the neutral zone. And he regains control of the puck. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The Rangers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, there hasn't been much to choose from in the two teams so far. The game is still scoreless, of course. But here's a power play. You've got a chance to change that in the next couple of minutes. And now he tries to get it across the hole. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Spezza. A chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Oh, caught him with his head down. Loses his balance on the play. Takes the feed from his own end. Cuts to the paint, and there's the save. Muzzin's got the puck in his own zone. From the point, they take control of it. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. Quick pass to Hyman. Not able to connect. Puck scooped up by Hyman. Denies him in close. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We're still scoreless. Toronto's won the draw. And he totally whiffs on that one. That pass doesn't go. A little back and forth. Moves it quickly over to Simmons. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Here's a chance out front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. He scores! the position that every coach loves the lead then you can use your bench then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you you've got a little bit of a cushion with a one goal lead they've got the defense outnumbered to his teammate that opportunity is rejected and now it's over to Dermot puts it wide and the goalie doesn't even have to make an effort on that it's that shot even though it's close misses the net Toronto's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Turns it aside. Nice feed from the goaltender. Here comes the pushback. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Tempers flaring. Yeah, a little bump together, a little friction. Looks like the guys want to get it going. Draw, he ties up his opponent. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Moves it to Miller. Here's a short pass to Strom from their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here he is, wrists it on net, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Spets is going off for charging. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. <laughs> Feeds the puck across to Thornton. That pass goes a little sideways. Quick feed to Strom. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Toronto's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Feed to Fox. Takes the pass. And we've got a two-on-one. Denies him in front. 
Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Scooped up along the wall by Strom. Couldn't complete the play. And now it's grabbed by Kreider. The backhander stopped by the goaltender. The Leafs will kill off a few extra seconds now. Tries to clear. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Can't connect. Angles it over to Brody. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. Made the stop on the play. Chesterkin's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Dumped into the opposite corner. New York's got the puck Whoa. along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. Moves it to Fox. Drills them. The Leafs get a hold of the puck under man. Gains the zone on the left wing. Sends it over. Bar out. The Leafs are hit with a little bit of bad luck here. This is a really good shot. The puck hits the post, but they're still leading the game. Toronto's on the attack. Great heads-up play by the defender. New York's in another close game. One of the reasons is positionally they're in the right place at the right time to intercept pucks. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shuts them down. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. Off the left wing and into center. Gains control of the puck here at the line. The Leafs look around near the point. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. The Rangers take it across the line. The Leafs have it against the wall. Rocked him in the open ice. And look at this, it's a... Scores! He had to be ready for this puck to end up on his stick. He doesn't take any time at all. The goalie's not set, it's in the net. That pass is on and off his stick in an instant. No stopping it, one-timing it so it's in the net. The Leafs had an insurance marker to make it 2-0 late in the first. So much time to go in the game. You can't be thinking about defending the lead. I like the way that they pressed to try and double their early lead. He let that one go after the whistle. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Sends it over to Bushnevich, and he makes the save. He says, let's get physical on that play. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And the first period comes to an end. Toronto's got to be feeling good about themselves after that first 20 minutes. They get a couple of goals, don't give up anything at the other end, and they lead it 2-0. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Tavares wins the draw. Quick pass to Riley. Tavares has the puck against the half wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Centered out in front, picks off the pass. Looks to make a play over to Zabinijad. Toronto's got it now. Smart heads up, play to neutralize the threat. New York's got the puck at center. It's a three on one. Couldn't make that one happen. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Brody's got it along the wing. A howitzer, way too much congestion blocks that. And he can't find his man. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Toronto's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. New York's won the draw. The Rangers carry it along the wall. And they can't convert to the play. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Puts it on net from the point, and that's blocked away. Picked up along the boards by Simmons. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And he connects with the long bomb. Handles the puck. Nothing doing on that. Takes the feed. Toronto's got the puck. Looks to pass it to Simmons. Pass stolen in the open ice. Puck grabbed by Miller. Can't connect. That's sent in deep. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the 
whistle stopping the play. Truman's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. Man advantage unit is set. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Here's a chance right out in front, and that one's broken up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Handles it along the blue line. A little prep trying to gain a step. Drives to the paint. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Leafs look to start the transition game. They've got numbers. Levels them with the hit. No one home on that play. And that one's broken up. And that pass is intercepted. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Great defensive stick work on the play. Taken along the wall by Hyman. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. Listen to the atmosphere. We haven't even dropped the puck on this one yet. Alongside Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. This should be a fun one. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Leafs take possession here on the opening drive. We are underway. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it quickly over to Girard. The Leafs have it behind the cage. Denied by the goaltender. Taves takes the puck. Sends a pass over. Big play inside the defensive zone. Polino's got it across the line. Rips it, blocked in traffic. The Avalanche have position now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Landeskog. And he takes a shot, and that sails over the net. Well, you got to get it on the net, but I see what he's doing. Lots of the net is gone with the size of the goalies. Quick shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. 
He's going to need some help here. He's pretty clearly struggling on the ice. Banged up in this shift somewhere. Just wants to get the puck out to center ice and get the heck off the ice. Their effort on this forecheck is really extending this shift. Jostled off the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. The Avs looking against the half wall. There's the whistle and a penalty is coming up on this one. Riley's two-handed chop is going to send him off to the box. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. That uh, might have been more than that. Picked up along the wall by Muzzin. What a steal in his own end. Slides it up to Kadri. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Kadri's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The Leafs have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Centering pass in front. Denies him. Anderson's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Unbeatable! Anderson's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still scoreless in this one. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Point to point wow. pass. Here's a chance right in front. Goalie makes the save. Oh, he reads the play. Scores! You think that there's a one set way to score in the power play? You find out in a hurry. It doesn't really matter where the puck moves. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. The Avs take the comfortable position of playing with the lead here, Ray. In the middle chunk of the period, you're looking for momentum to go one way or the other. They've got it now. Hammers the shot, and it comes up with the save. And it's a quick pass to Taze. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Passes it over to Hall. Into the offensive end now. Quick feed to Marner. Turns it away. Dead center, excellent save. Now a quick pass to Landeskog. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Koshin's carrying it ahead. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Gains the zone from the right. Cutting to the slot. Move to the middle. And that's picked off. Fails to find the open man. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. Hammers a shot, and he stands tall in goal. Moves it around along the half wall. And makes the routine save. Grubauer's strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? And they fail to go tape to tape. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Brody. And now he moves it to Tavares. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. The Avs are on the attack. Hammers one. Denies him. He got all of it. And he elects to play the puck. Nylander's got it in the defensive end. Driving right to the front. And a strong effort on that play. Couldn't find the intended target. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Along the half wall with the puck. Good hit on the play. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Quick pass to Bogosian. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Here in the late goings of the period, Colorado's up one zip. Kerfoot's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save with the stick by Grubauer. And now he passes up to Ninchuskin. Here they come, three of them. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Off target. Moves it quickly over to Simmons. Intercepts it at center. 
Colorado's been in the right position all game long. They've intercepted plays like this since the beginning. Well, that'll do it for period number one and a chance for both teams to kind of get a refresh here. The Avs get off to a good start. They lead 1-0. Opening face-off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Leafs are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. He's got a breakaway! And can't convert! Can't convert, James. He doesn't even get a shot. He might as well dump it in the corner and keep the forecheck going. Here's a short pass to Foligno. Toronto's got it along the wall. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Avs lead it 1-0. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Musson, and he moves it up to Nylander. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Sends one up to Burakovsky. Can't find his man. Right on the doorstep. Can't connect. Oh, he'll feel that one. Sends it over to Tavares. Looking to set up offensively. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. Colorado's won it. McCarr scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Turns it away on the slot shot. Quick feed to Kerfoot. And now he angles it across to Simmons. And he comes up with it. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Moves it to Jost. The Avs move it in. Here's a blast. Oh, what a stop. The puck goes out of play. And we'll get a face off on the heels of that save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Leafs have it from their own end. Chaps the puck away. Tosses it on to Dunstoy. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Great defensive effort with the stick. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Colorado's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Passes right to the front. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Quick pass to Comper. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Taken by Nash. He got all of that hit. Pokes it away in his own end. Slides it to Spezza. And sends it just out of reach. Unleashes a cannon. Turns him away. The Leafs have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. Well past the midway mark of this period, Colorado's ahead 1-0. McKinnon's won the faceoff. This is a big draw for him. His players were a little tired around him. The Avs will play for the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. He was locked in there. And he sends it across to Foligno. Pass right in front. And they can't connect. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Marner. 
Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Takes a shot with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Rantanen. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the late going of the frame, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Avs win the draw. Puck picked up by Graves. The Avalanche have it now. Denies him with the save. Here's a short pass to Bogosian. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Rocks him. From the point, looks to make something happen. And he denied that opportunity. Anderson's done it again. Another terrific save. And he's kept this game close. Here's a chance. On the doorstep. Stones him in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The setters will glide into the dot. Gets a hold of the puck. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Wow. He scores! On the one-timer, two-sweep. Colorado's doubled it up here in this second period. Like the way that they've played this last little bit of hockey, they've pushed the pace again. Now they're within a few minutes of having a good intermission. The Avs take possession of the neutral zone and gets it in deep in the opposite corner. Galchenyuk's lugging the puck into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a blast. Denies him on the one-timer. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. The Avs have played excellent defensive hockey tonight. They lead it 2-0. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Here we go, put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? The Leafs can't find a way to get the P past this goaltender. Must look like a beach ball to him in there. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Can't connect. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Stick saved by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. They've got numbers. Here's the pass. Oh, what a save Whoa. in front. Scores! Now they're energized. You can just see it on their bench. They're only down by one. Can they find the game time goal? Uh, sometimes you just gotta put your hands up and say, I can't do any more than that. He did all he could to try and stop that puck. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Toronto's trailing by one. And that pass goes awry. Great balance as he scoops it back up. And he slides it quickly to Nichushkin. And now he moves it quickly to Burakovsky. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. From the half wall, a chance! That goes wide. Probably better off to take a little off the shot. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. Slashing the call, and he's going to pay for it, Ray. Looks like he's chopping wood, James. That was an easy one to call. Belmar's won it in their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Look out, a two-on-one. Oh, slick work with the glove by Anderson. Toronto's in transition. Here's a shot, denied by Grubauer. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Gets a stick on it. Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. Big time stop there. Grubauer's jump. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. The Avalanche have to deal with two minutes in the sin bin for hooking. 
It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the plate. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Moves the puck up to Gerard. Can't catch up to the pass. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Great chance in front. Oh. He scores. Even under man, they deliver. That's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive. They get up the ice and are able to score while down a man. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there. But the pass is on his tape in the low slot. And he beats him clean. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moved in front, and that one's broken up. The Avs move it ahead. Nice pass. Denied by the goaltender. It's a two-on-one. Manages to hang on. Here's a chance in front. Scores! Putting the power did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. The Leafs are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. Puck scooped up by Kadri. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hyman. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! They barely fished the puck out after the last one. Two goals in 70 seconds. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Scored by number 91, John Morris. And now it's grabbed by Kerfoot. And by number 11. On the attack along the boards. Shot! Huge stop by Grubauer. Denies him again! Finish it off. Now you can play from in front. Toronto's got an opportunity to try and close things out here in the late stages of this third period. There's still enough time left, though, James, that they have to remain an aggressive team, and their goalie is going to have to make a save or two down the stretch. That pass doesn't go. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Quick feed to Galchenyuk. The Leafs have it now. Here's an odd man rush. He's got a step. Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time and pass the goalie. The Leafs now with that two goal lead. How does that change things here in this third period? Well, now as it gets late, James, they can really manage the puck well. Don't have to take any chances with it. By number 24. Colorado's got possession at center. Nice poke check. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Simmons. Unable to reach that one. And it's a quick pass to Bogosian. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Coughs up possession of the puck. Taken by McKinnon. With possession along the wall. Right out in front. And that's picked off. Passes over to Matthews. And we've got a two-on-one. Not able to connect. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Saad's got it in the offensive end. Toronto's got it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area and makes the save. The Avs have it against the wall. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Couldn't connect on that pass. Hammers it. Comes up with the stop. 
The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Moves it to Jost. Pumps the puck away. Take it along the wall by Saad. They break away. Sends it across. Scores! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. The Avalanche have answered back with a big one here in the third. Important to get within one. A lot of times you're sitting on the bench, you look up at the clock, and you can't believe ten minutes have melted away. Right up front! Can't connect! Puck grab by Gerard. Gaining momentum up along the side. Hyman stick handling in his own zone. Here's a chance, a two on one. Comes up with a big pad save to deny. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes, you make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The Leafs have it in the offensive zone. Denies up with the blocker, what a stop by Grubauer. Just 25 seconds to go here. Puck picked up by Hyman. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Cuts into the paint. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that one stopped. Redirected in front. Oh, and another big stop. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Well, this Good game, man. Good game.